Well, hi there, everybody. Good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. A very pleasant start to our morning out there, but for some of you today could be a very active day, especially the western half of Nebraska. We've got showers and storms moving through the panhandle as we speak, and these will sneak into the western parts of the viewing area today. In fact, the stronger disturbance will actually come in later this afternoon. So we're going to have to watch those areas closely for the threat of severe storms. We may get a little bit of activity in central Nebraska, but certainly the better chances will be towards the west. And you folks in eastern Nebraska should see a dry day with partly to mostly sunny skies. Uh, the chance will continue into the evening hours as that main batch pushes into Kansas, but for the rest of us, there's still going to be some lingering shower and storm activity during the evening and overnight hours. Uh, so I uh, can't completely rule out some showers and storms even into tomorrow morning. And even during the day tomorrow, going to keep a slight chance of showers and storms around. But with uh, some extra clouds around, we may keep things a little cooler yet for your day on Fridays. Many of us stay in the 70s for highs. And you can't rule out any uh, chance of a shower storm for pretty much any one location. Although tomorrow uh, doesn't look like much of a severe weather threat like what we'll see later today, especially for, again, folks in the southwest part of the state. And there is an action enhanced risk of severe weather from about McCook Imperial south and westward. Uh, those areas have the best chance of seeing quite a bit of severe weather, lots of instability out there. A slight risk in the yellow shaded areas for places like Ogallala, North Platte, down towards Beaver City. And then a marginal risk, a lower end risk of severe weather from Shadron, Thedford, Broken Bow, Lexington, Kearney, Hastings down towards Heber and Smith Center, Concordia, Kansas. Uh, so again, here's a look at our risk of severe weather. Not much a tornado risk for today. It's more of a uh, wind and hail uh, threat out there, but certainly going to have to watch that closely later on today. Temperatures for today will be a little cooler for most of us, looking at upper 70s and lower 80s up north, partly sunny skies, a 30% chance of thunderstorms. Much better chances out towards the west today upper 70s, low to mid 80s, but of course temperatures will be impacted by rain. As rain moves through your area, of course that's going to cool things back a little bit. Uh, low to mid 80s in the south, uh, we'll be looking at warmer temperatures down in northern Kansas, a 30% chance of thunderstorms. And then to the east should be dry, partly to mostly sunny skies, more of our sunshine in the morning and early afternoon, maybe a few extra clouds later on, low to mid 80s for highs. The rest of your forecast these next seven days, a little cooler tomorrow with those extra clouds around. Again, not a lot of sunshine for some of you. We'll get back into the lower mid 80s on Saturday. Just a small chance of rain during the day. Saturday, a slightly better chance Saturday night for some showers and storms. We warm it up more on Sunday, getting closer to 90 degrees, and then the 90s return for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. A couple of slight chances of showers and thunderstorms. The good news is, though, we may actually cool back a little bit just beyond the seven day forecast towards the end of next week. So again, uh, very active weather for today. In fact, probably the uh, most active weather will come over the next 24 hours. We enjoy the temperatures we have right now. We're going to heat things up as we get towards next week, those first few days of August. So there's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a great Thursday.